Hi hey class, welcome back to Electromagnetics. We're going to continue our look uh, at transmission lines and some of the properties and characteristics of them. Uh, previously we've been looking at it in terms of the frequency domain. Now we want to take a step back and look at it again from uh, the perspective of time domain. So this little short lecture here is just kind of setting up the groundwork to, so that we can do that. Uh, quick thought for the day. Uh, the heart of a man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. And so, uh, you know, I think this is applicable here because we'll start to look at some some of the stepping characteristics and time of a of a transmission line in a circuit. But but also in, in regards to our own personal lives, you know, many times we think we know how things are going to go, uh, and and maybe to even have a vision of where we're supposed to be and which way we're supposed to go but sometimes the actual steps that we take to get there uh you know are different than what we had planned and that's that's from the determination of the lord so again like i said transmission line analysis we've spent a couple of class periods uh, looking at it in the time domain now we want to take a look in the i mean excuse me in the frequency domain now we're wanting to look go back and look in the time domain so we want to recall then that our uh, the transmission line equations for a lossless line uh, are, are these equations here, and hopefully we are starting to be familiar with that this is really Faraday's law and Ampere's law, um, just uh, boiled down like we said for the special condition of a transmission line, and again we have this inductance these are per unit uh, values and capacitance per unit. And uh, hopefully this is becoming to look a little bit familiar. So the solution to these equations then in the time domain, uh, the general solution, we have voltage as a function of position and time is equal to A times this function F with uh, this argument of the function T minus Z squared to LC and then B times the second function G, which has another time shifted uh, argument with it as well. And likewise, the current Again, it's just 1 over square root of LC times the voltage solution. So where these equations represent a traveling wave, uh, then we can define, and we've talked about this some already, we have this phase velocity, which is 1 over the square root of the per unit inductance and capacitance. And the medium then has a characteristic impedance, Z naught, and we've already talked about this before, the per unit values of inductance divided by capacitance, the square root of that. So with those definitions, we can now rewrite these equations a little bit. So now our equation for voltage uh, in terms of position and time, we're gonna write this now as a V plus and a V minus. So the V plus <clears throat> is gonna be with T minus Z over our phase velocity and the V minus is gonna be in terms of our uh, the space and time plus the z over uh, the phase velocity. And again, remember when we have the minus sign, that usually indicates a forward transmitting wave. And when we have this plus sign in the argument, that's a negative or reflected wave. So that's when you see this notation. This is our transmitted wave and reflected wave. Same thing can be said for the current. Again, we just divide by this intrinsic impedance or the, the line impedance, excuse me, that we defined on the previous slide. Again, we'll have our transmitted current and our reflected current. So now that those are defined, we can also calculate our transmitted power, which is just our transmitted voltage over squared over the line impedance, and then our reflected power is the reflected voltage squared over the reflected over the line impedance. And notice the negative sign there. And again, this is for the standard setup shown here, again, where we have um, transmission lines, so we'll have two conductors, we'll have some medium in between that's uh, dielectric in nature. So we'll have this voltage between these with one voltage wave traveling this way is the transmitted and traveling from right to left is the reflected. Same thing with the current. So. With these definitions now, we want to, in the next uh, couple of lectures, start looking at uh, transmission line in terms of the time domain.